Hello, everybody. It's <clears throat> Dr. Rick here. My boy is just giving me the business today, but uh, we're going to do this anyway. Uh, first of all, uh, a happy Juneteenth uh, to those of you who are celebrating in one way or another. And what I want to talk to you about is eh, indirectly related to Juneteenth. Um, I think by now everybody knows what Juneteenth is about. Um, emancipation uh, finalized at the end of the Civil War, 1865. Slaves were officially declared free. Well, it took until two, uh, 1867 for the slaves in South Texas, specifically Galveston, uh, which is literally a rock's throw from Houston, uh, to find out that they were free. And it is reportedly happened on June 19th. And you know how we are with breaking English and everything else. It end up the celebration just simply start being Juneteenth instead of June 19th, and on and on and on. Okay, that's that. So many times, I heard uh, the elder Dr. Claude Anderson say that black people insist on majoring in the minor. And here we are again. Once again, majoring in the minor, not understanding how things work. And I've said this uh, more times than I care to count that we always end up in places that are not favorable to us because we fail to gain an understanding of how things work. And when you don't know how things work, you normally get exploited by those who do and so here we are and I'm watching timelines I'm getting emails and black people piss because white people are out celebrating Juneteenth and having more fun it seems than we are and, and the fact that we're giving energy to this is blowing my mind when there are so many things wrong that we need to be giving our focus to. We pissed off because we pushed for a holiday that was associated with us that we celebrated here in Texas for freaking years before anybody really caught on to it. And then we, it was ours. We demanded that it become a national holiday. A national holiday means that all things government, all things financial institute is going to be closed. And then other businesses are going to follow suit. Guess who runs those businesses? White people. Guess who are mostly employed by there and have the predominance of the population? White people. So guess who get to enjoy this holiday that we've been enjoying? A lot of us taking off when we are supposed to be at work and just, I mean, bucking. You know, that was our thing. That was us. That was our thing. Didn't have a whole lot of value to it, but it was, you know, our chance to be a little rebellious. It was ours. We demanded that it be recognized nationally. The same thing with Martin Luther King's birthday. I was a young bug then, and I didn't truly understand it, but I really started to research it. Let me explain something to what happens here. And it, and it blows my mind that we don't get this. And I do, go out of my way to try to really truly Elevate thinking. Let me explain something to you. Okay. Juneteenth is supposed to be about emancipation. It's supposed to be about freedom. It's supposed to be about uh, having an opportunity for us to be us and do our own thing and be free from underneath the foot of slavery and all things associated with it. Well, we know for a fact that we haven't achieved that because we are too heavily dependent upon them for everything and even the things we shouldn't be dependent upon them for we demand that they do something about it instead of doing it for ourselves let me explain to you i'm going somewhere with this so 
you demand you always hear me say we're the only people that in the history of mankind that literally finance our own demise let me show you something so we demand that we get uh, a national holiday where it's literally recognized federally this holiday that we celebrate our freedom on now guess what's going to happen it's already started they're going to monetize, commercialize, commodify. They're going to make it a big thing. And then well, guess what blacks are going to do? They're going to go out and buy all the stuff celebratory and, and all the, the, the things that are being pushed. They're going to, we're going to be out there buying it. We're going to be buying tickets to it. We're going to be buying t-shirts. We're going to be all the stuff, 90% of which is not black on, black on. And guess what? They're going to use a holiday we use to celebrate our freedom to suck even more black dollars out of the black community. They do it with Martin Luther King every freaking year. And nobody gets it. No, those parades, all the stuff, that, that's run by governments, run by white people, uh, and, and on and on and on. But my whole thing is, you mad because they celebrate in a holiday that commemorates your freedom. What that tells me is we think so small that the things that we should fight for, we don't fight for. And the things that shouldn't matter to us, we fight in the tooth and nail. We pissed because they celebrating a holiday that is something positive for us. But we won't fight for the right to truly, totally educate our children. We won't fight for uh, the right to sit up and build in our own community. We won't fight back against gentrification. We won't fight back against mass incarceration. We won't fight back against um, the disproportionality in which our black women and black girls are disappearing in this country. We won't fight back on all the different things that we could actually make a difference on, but we're going to get pissed because they're celebrating a holiday that we should have just been happy to keep to ourselves in the first damn place. It totally just flabbergasts me. I don't know another word to use. I'm just out of words to sit up and think about, we really making an issue out of this. White people out just partying like it's about them. Well, it is about them. You gave them the damn day off. You gave them the day off, they gonna go out and get drunk. That's what they do. They gonna get on a boat. More of them on boats than we do. They gonna be out there on the lake. They gonna be out there in the Gulf. They gonna be out on both oceans. And they and, and, the, and the Great Lakes. And every other the lake around here for the landlocked, land uh, locked uh, cities. And they gonna get drunk as fuck. That's what they do. And they gonna talk shit about the free slaves. They gonna talk shit about the ones who fought to get this done. And they gonna end up sitting up saying something like, well, thank you for the day off. And that's all it is to most of them. To the more enterprising white mind, the moment that they saw that it was gonna pass, they started looking for how they were gonna monetize it, how they were gonna commercialize it, how they were gonna turn it into these big events where people spend a lot of money, especially black people. We're gonna, we're gonna buy a whole lot more barbecue. We're gonna buy a whole lot more uh, barbecue pits. We're gonna buy, I mean, all this stuff, none of the stuff we own, uh, most of the stuff we buy for companies that are non black. And we're gonna ball out of control, celebrating all this stuff. And guess what? We're financing our own demise. Because we won't organize and finance the things that allow us to win. We won't organize and finance the things that give us power. We won't organize and finance educating our youth, socializing our youth, building uh, structural uh, instruments to where we can look and locate and find and rescue some of our women. Oh, I want to uh, celebrate that we did what well, we didn't. They did locate um, the young 14-year-old girl in the Georgia area. Uh, that, that had been missing for three weeks. She had been hustled on social media by a white efebophile. And she had been staying with him for three weeks. 
she finished her uh, final exams and everything, left that school. Last time they saw was on camera, she went to the parking lot. I'm assuming he was waiting in that parking lot. She got the car when she was with him. And I'm assuming they tracked her phone or whatever and found her at his house. And she had been there. Of course, they arrested him. Piece of shit. Um, but we need... But how many won't come home? I put hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of research into understanding this stuff. So that when I come to you, I'm not coming to you just going off the top of my head. I'm coming to you because I put the time, energy, and effort into understanding how things work so that I can share it with you so that things can be done. We need agendas. We need plans. We need blueprints. We need actionable uh, steps that we can take that will produce results. Sitting up, whining, and complaining, and then partying like we ain't got no damn sense, spending all our money into an economy that does not serve us. The liquor stores that we buy our liquor from, not black owned. The only places we go that might be black owned are the clubs. And let's be honest, 90% of those club owners, when they get all this money that they getting out of us, go spend that money in what? White economies. They gonna buy the, the the Porsche, the 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 Bentley, and the Phantom, and all these stuff. These you know, and, and all this stuff like that. I don't have a problem with none of that stuff. Been down that road a long time ago. What I am talking about is we need strategies to understand how we move, so we can take a large part of the resources that we are throwing away and use them to in, uh, power and create better situations for the next generation. We are going to be the first generation to leave the world in a worse situation than we found it. We're working on it hard. We're doing everything in our power to do that. It totally blows my mind that that's where we're at right now. But I'm looking and I'm going like, are we really sitting here upset because they are celebrating Juneteenth. What do you think was going to happen? They was going to have a national holiday and the only people out of the 330 million people in this country that were going to be celebrating were the 45 million black people in the country? Did that, is that what you thought was going to happen? Look, when they weren't thinking about Juneteenth for the most part until you made it an issue. Now they figured out, hey, Another way to get more money out of the community. And it is, because that's what's going to happen. We have definitely got to learn to do better. And my whole thing is, I could care less what they're celebrating about. What I do care about is the fact that they are going to and have already commodified the holiday, commercialized it already. They're already sucking 500 and something billion dollars out of us between October and December alone. Between Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, they get $553 billion of black money. Just holiday, commercialized holidays. And we haven't learned anything from that. Man, I'm sitting up here and I'm looking in this camera lens and how much I look like my pops. Like, and when I say my pops, I'm talking about my great grandfather, the person who grew me. It's crazy. The genes, if I, I look just like my mom, which is his granddaughter. I mean, so it's crazy. But anyway, um, we've got work to do. That's all I can say. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm at a loss. I mean, and in, in anybody who knows me know I could talk for days about this. This is I, my life has been committed. I literally can talk for days about this. But I'm at a loss because. What do you say when people are that far gone that that's the thing that they... You want to get riled up about that? Get riled up about these babies missing. Get riled up about the fact that we are constantly being pushed out of places that we have settled into through serial force displacement because they're gentrifying and, and taking what we actually own because we can't afford the taxes. They're doing it in every freaking uh, city across America. Get mad about mass incarceration and how they are literally 
uh, funneling black boys to the school to prison pipeline. Get mad about the stuff that we can do something about and change this. Get mad about the things that if we change those things, what they do on these holidays won't really matter. Those are the things we need to be upset about. Well, look, I'm going to get ready to get off of here. As I always say when I come on these places, if you believe in the work we do, look in the description box. Click the link and get If not, I don't even know why you're watching, but okay. But we need, <laughs> we got work to do. Uh, you got to be active in something. You got to be committed to something, either doing something, financing something, funding something, participating, networking and connecting people, something, because we're getting our ass kicked. And we're complaining about who's celebrating Juneteenth. Wow. All right. On that note, look, I'm going to get out of here. I got to grab me something healthy to eat so I can take care of myself. And you guys, you guys have an unbelievable day, and I'll talk to you later.